you know, one of the things is that uh, you know, during the lockdown, most of us turn to social media to, to entertain. And so, of course, we're, we see a, a lot of things. And I do remember um, seeing the two of you together. Um, and I was thinking a sort of strong relationship. But then I kind of reminded me of my younger bro youngest brother who just, you know, baby of the house and, you know, mm. he'll get the extra chicken and stuff like that. And now he's the baby of the house. And I just seen the, the, the relationship between the two of you. I thought, wow, this is a really great relationship. But I, I, I said, wow, if I was related to you guys, I would be jealous of that. How, you know, it's, and it's an amazing relationship. How did it become, it's almost like you guys are friends as opposed to mom and son. Uh, we've always been like that since yeah. he was born. I tell the story all the time. He was in his bassinet and he looked up at me and I looked at him and I don't know, it was, it was an instant connection. <laughs> and since he's been a baby, we've just been like thick as thieves, you yeah. know. There have been some jealous family members, not my oldest son. No, my oldest son, he's just, he, he does his own thing. But um, yeah, we've just always been like, Close. I feel like we got closer when I actually came out as gay. Um, I'm it, no, you, you know, what I, think? I feel like we've gotten closer, mm -hmm. or and even you know, just over the years of stuff that we've been through together, mm -hmm. um, we've gotten closer just from that. There has been a lot of things that I've seen her at her lows, she's seen me at my lows, mm -hmm. and I feel like when you see somebody um, at their worst that's when you get the real authentic them, them yeah. and you can really, um, you bond over that. You know, if you can get somebody through their lowest points, like that's, that's your forever. <laughs> like yeah. that's the pride of God. Yeah. I mean, I, and you, you mentioned when, when you came out and I do wonder within, you know, within the black community um, in general, you know, we, we're conservative in one area then, you know, and then in, in, in another area. Had that been a challenge for yourself, Coco, or for Jay back in the early days or or even going ongoing? Um, it wasn't a challenge for me. I'm, well, it was a challenge, not when he came out, but as his mother, I've always known. So I knew before he knew. And so it was a challenge because, you know, he's a kid. He doesn't know anything. He's just being his authentic self and he just wants to play and just be him. So I have to, um, I've always had to protect and cover him you know, to make sure that he was okay. And uh, as he got older and, you know, he started realizing who he who he is and he came out, you know, I was just like, whew, it's a sob of relief. I'm like, and I was like, you finally, you finally yeah. figured it out? <laughs> okay, well, then let's go now. Now we're going to the next level of things. And, you know, I just try to teach him and educate him about life and how it's going to be because everybody doesn't love and accept gay so mm -hmm. I just had to you know and I'm it's still a daily talk that we have yeah. you know and as long as I'm here I'm gonna always be by his side protect him and just school him and, and I guess sometimes it's the I don't know if it's family or friend or cousins or friends or just community who have who seem to bring the most type of pressure um um, it's strangers, you know, yeah. gay bashing, you have to be, you know, social media, you just have to be aware of your surroundings. And that's what I just try to teach them. It doesn't matter who it is, your family, your friends, strangers, you just have to always be aware of your surroundings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, um, I mean, as I said, it's, 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 you know, it's, it's one of the things that you do get where people who don't know you. So you were, Jay, you were talking about when you were singing by yourself it was not a problem then you put a video out now to get followers but once you do that you you open yourself for other people's uh, sort of opinion and criticism most in your case luckily a lot of people appreciated what you have to offer and and, and i guess that's always the thing that we always when we make ourselves we put ourselves out there mm -hmm. we, we, and it's not easy to take the good uh, and, and the bad Hey everyone, I want to thank you for being part of Halftime Chats. Um, this new update is really about our membership and I'm really excited to be able to fully launch the membership page. There will be things like full interviews from day one. As soon as the interview drops, you get access to it without any ads on it. Um, there'll be some exclusive member-only videos that 
will just be some behind the scenes stuff and some other things that we will never be broadcast. Um, for some members, you can be able to get actually two interviews because we do have I do have a backlog of almost two or th- seven or eight interviews that I don't even know when I'm going to be able to broadcast them. So you're able to get at least some of those up front and um and some some ex- some just behind the scenes stuff because there's a lot of stuff that goes behind the scenes that i have never been able to 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 talk about or release um for anyone else you know what the videos would still be the same um over f- over a week or a week and a half or two weeks depending on how long it is um so everything stays the same the polls stay the same the community chats the community stuff stays the same but I think with the membership stuff, I'm able to add a little bit more and invest a lot more time and energy in in in, in really supporting the members. So I do hope you come on that ride with me. I appreciate the support. And um, this will just help me continue to invest in taking things to the next level. Take care. <laughs>